Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands and online at onespotmedia.com. Up first this evening, I was fired. That admission from the controversial Member of Parliament, Everald Warmington. In an exclusive interview with TVJ's Kalisha Williams, he revealed that Prime Minister Andrew Holness was forced not only by civil society, but members of the Holness Cabinet to fire him. When we caught up with the controversial Member of Parliament, he was uncharacteristically welcoming. So were you fired or were you forced to resign? I was fired. That's contrary to the February 29 statement from the Office of the Prime Minister, which stated that Mr. Warmington resigned from the cabinet. It followed comments he made in a viral video about withholding funds from a PNP councillor in his constituency. The PM said to me, I should divulge more and say, ask the question, that um, because of civil society, you can't keep me there. But at the same time, he's asked me to go in the field to work for the party for his next election. The question I ask, if civil society cannot accept me as part of his cabinet, how then civil society will accept me working in the field to elect him again as prime minister? But don't you think his hands were tied though, given that the reaction from the opposition leader with Dennis Meadows? I saw no chain or rope on his hands. Don't ask me a question. Meadows, as I said, is a different case from mine entirely. He was promoting criminality. I was not, never yet. Okay? But in terms of society, and there are some others in Labour Party who forced him to. Back to the OPM statement, Mr. Warmington said his remarks were misunderstood and were focused on the fact that MPs direct funds for constituencies and councillors direct funds for the municipal corporations. Of note, however, Mr. Warmington also stated in the video that he was the Minister of Works when pointing out that no PNP councillor is going to get his money. So we asked him to clarify. Can you point to a single minister who has the ability or, or the right or any, any avenue to which a minister can locate funds from the minister? So why did you say you're the minister? Why did you make that statement? You can't answer me a question, ask me another question. But you're the one who made the I statement, Mr. Warman, sir. Can, can you tell me one minister that, that does or who can? Answer the question and I come to you. So why did you make the statement then? Because it's my mouth. I don't have the permission to speak. I don't pay lies to my mother, darling. I don't. But I, I would say that the same minister was a slip of the tongue anyhow. Mr. Warmington went further to defend his track record and integrity while serving the JLP for the past 55 years. He stressed that his name has never been called in any criminal activity. But over the years, uh, Mr. Warmington, in all fairness, you've had a record of being dismissive towards the media, being disrespectful towards the opposition counterpart. Why not? I speak my mind. Is that disrespectful? No. If you are hypocrite and hide what you have to say, then you can say that. But I don't know about um, um, disrespectful. I call disrespectful. I don't need to talk about disrespectful. I speak my mind because I'm an upfront person. I'm not going to play games and smile with you and at your back and I stab you. No, no, no. You must know where I feel at all times. Now, in regards to his future in the JLP and whether he will be supporting the party, this is what Mr. Warmington had to say. After 55 years, I've finished working with the Labour Party. At this stage, I'll be working for a few selected candidates if they want me to. My election may be a year, year after, so I'll be working South West St. Catherine. I've resigned as chairman of the Year Council too. Okay? And my national profile in working with the party, I think that is in doubt now. I have no regrets. To have worked for Andrew Holness then. I have none in him at all because I don't regret anything I do. I have no regret. I haven't worked for him then. Help him. You can even say protect him then against the vipers. I have no regret. But the issue is, the question is, will I do it again? Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.